the Summer Olympics, this is something that we can all really get excited for. Coming back to Los Angeles in 2028, I mean, this is the first time that the Summer Olympic Games have been in America since 1996. Why did it take so long for them to come back? Competition. Hmm. Competition. Uh, the LA has competed every time the games have been open, and uh, sometimes we're not selected yeah. <laughs> out of the U.S. <laughs> Only one city per country can be selected. And in fact, even for the originally 24, now 28 games, Boston was the first city that the USOC selected. Interesting. And then over a few months, Boston realized that perhaps it wasn't such a good idea, hmm. and then they withdrew, fortunately in time, for Los Angeles to say, yes, we're still prepared to put our, our city in, so please sign us up and we'll compete. Huh. So even though the, they were six months behind all of the other competitors who wound up being only Paris at the end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the, odd, uh, the interesting thing about that is all three times uh, that Paris will, this future past, will have had the opportunity to host the games, mm -hmm. in each occasion they've not had a, a real contest. The first time was in 1900 where the IOC went to the leaders of, of, of Paris and said, uh, we think it'd be great if you'd host the games, could you do it? And they said, uh, yeah, okay, we'll do it. <laughs> we have the World's Fair, so we'll fix it with that. And then the IOC said, nah. We'd rather prefer that it's not a part of the World's Fair, but if that's the way you have to do it, fine. We need the games in 1900. Then the next time was in uh, 1924, and this was after uh, World War I, and it was hard to find cities at that, that moment, and then we went to Paris. I say we, the IOC, I was not around then. Right. But, uh, <laughs> Paris was, again, the city that seemed most logical to host the games, and so an entreaty was made, and they said, oh, okay, yeah, we'll do it. Hmm. This time, uh, in the case of Los Angeles, uh, Los Angeles went to uh, the IOC after the 2020 games and said, uh, we'd really like to host the games. Uh, when can we do it? And they said, okay, let's see, let's see. Well, we've already chosen the host for 2020, I mean, 1924. Uh, let's see, oh yeah, we've already chosen 1928. That's going to be Amsterdam. But it looks like 32 is open. Were you interested in 32? And they went back and considered, and they, then they wrote back, yes, we'd like to have 32. So they were given 32. And now comes, uh, in 84, what happened was that a um, series of events, as it turned out, uh, the only city in the running for 1984 was Los Angeles. Hmm. Other cities had dropped out. At one time, Melbourne was running, but because of, of 1980, a whole series of things. And in fact, uh, the uh, city, the, the, the capital of uh, uh, Iran was uh, interested in hosting the games. Interesting. Yeah, and some people say there was a political set of issues that pulled them out, but yeah. there was a lot going on. This is a little bit before okay. the actual uh, hostage situation, but there was certainly a lot of upheaval in the country at that time. So Los Angeles, the first time asked and said yes, the second time uh, again asked and was told yes. Now this time, both Paris and Los Angeles were bidding for 2024. Hmm. And uh, there was a little bit of discussion and uh, discussion and finally we said, okay, Paris, you take 2024, your 100th anniversary of your games, and LA, you take wow. 2028. And so without ever really contesting, both cities have been assigned a third time to host the games. And everybody's happy. At least the people of those two cities. Sure, yeah, of course, of <laughs> yes. course. How are the host duties different in 2020 being in Tokyo? And yes, uh, well, it's very interesting. We've had to work hard in a partnership with uh, the Tokyo Games because uh, the price that they were assigning as the cost of the games was enormous. Mm -hmm. And uh, we realized that they were putting in their budget primarily uh, things that they wanted for the city. Of course, they could be used for the games, but they weren't essential to the games. For example, they hosted the World Championships in swimming mm -hmm. maybe uh, three years ago, and for that they built a fantastic new facility, which worked very well for swimming, which included diving and synchronized swimming and water polo. And uh, yet they had put in the budget a brand new stadium for mm -hmm. 2020. So there's something called the uh, um, Coordination Commission, 
which is set up once the city has been selected to host the games, and that coordination commission has a responsibility of helping a city understand what really needs to be built or what could be used of existing facilities so that they don't have to make a new investment. So we've managed to shave um, more than a, a billion dollars off already wow. of their proposed spending. And we continue to look at ways to do that. Now they had, uh, in their original proposal, they had wanted uh, the, all of the venues to be in a, a very compact area. Well, that's nice to have, but it's not necessary. Sure. And if you can go a little bit further out and use an existing facility, so the expenditure is only to upgrade it a little bit so it can fit with the other systems, it makes so much more sense than to, uh, for the purpose of having it nearby, have some brand new and shiny venue built, which would have very little use for that purpose after the games, but it would cost a lot of money to build. So we're working very closely with them uh, to ensure that the expenditures are necessary.